my name is Blazer. Blazer. Game Blazer. Game Blazer. And this is Today in Gaming History. Number one is X-Men the Official Game. Also known as X3 the Game, it covers the events of X-Men 2 and X-Men The Last Stand. It follows the story of Wolverine, Iceman, and Nightcrawler, and explains why exactly Nightcrawler was absent from the third film. It also introduced Hydra into the video game canon as well. It featured several voice actors from the film, including Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart, voicing Professor X. Even though the game mostly focused on Wolverine, Iceman, and Nightcrawler, the DS version had Magneto as a playable character. Overall, the reception for the X-Men game was all over the place. Chances are, wherever you go, the consensus on the game is 50-50. But if you're a fan of X-Men, then this is the game for you. Number 2 is Yara's Revenge. Released in 1982, I would like to call this game Atari's Million Dollar Baby. Developed by Howard Warshaw, it is the best-selling original title for the 2600 to date. You play as an insect-like creature called a Yar who must nibble and shoot through some barriers in order to fire your Zorlon cannon into the breach. The target is the Quartile, the Yar's mortal nemesis, the Quartile. To destroy the Quartile, you either eat a piece of the shield or reach the Quartile and activate your Zorlon cannon. Now dig this, the cannon is so powerful it can actually harm the player. The Yar acts as a bullseye for the cannon. After it is fired, you bets to be getting out of the way. After its release in 1982, a remake was made for the Game Boy Advance and was received very well by the people. Number 3 is Terraria, developed by ReLogic. It was initially released for Microsoft Windows, but since has spread to various platforms and mobile devices. ReLogic began designing Terraria in early 2011. The team of Andrew Spinks and Finn Bryce did programming and design for the game. In 2012, it was announced that Engine Software and 505 Games would be porting the game to the Xbox 360. From then, it would eventually become available on all the major platforms. The original reception of the game was very good. Major gaming publications gave an average 9 out of 10 rating on many aspects of the game. The numbers behind the game were also impressive. 200,000 sold in the first week. First month, 432,000. By the time of its third update in 2015, it had reached 12 million copies sold. As of today, over 20 million copies of the game have been reproduced. Number 4 Kirby Triple Deluxe. Developed by HAL Laboratory, the story of Triple Deluxe goes like this This giant beanstalk called the Dream Stalk begins growing up under Dreamland and carrying various landmarks up into the sky, including Kirby's own home. The next morning, Kirby awakens in a new land called Valeria, and the big boss in this one is a wasp-like creature named Queen Sectonia, and her sixth-armed tarantula-like beast named Tarantula. Kirby, with the aid of King Didi, battled the queen and her huge spider to rescue Dreamland. This game was loved by many, as with most of Kirby's titles, and to date, it has sold 1.78 million copies worldwide. Wow. A lot of movie. Number 5 Diablo 3. Diablo 3 is a dungeon crawling RPG by Blizzard Entertainment and is the third installment of the series. Diablo 3 set a record for the fastest selling PC game, selling 3.5 million copies in just 24 hours, and then went on to be the best selling PC game of 2012. Character building is a staple in the series, and just like its predecessor, the attribute management system in Diablo 3 is top notch and heavily detailed. Blizzard's recognizable in house physics allow for fully interactive and destructive environments that respond to players. A few countries had issues with Diablo 3, as thousands of excited and anxious players had connectivity issues and playability issues during release. However, those mishaps did not stop Diablo 3 from becoming the fourth best selling PC game of all time. And that's my video, because that was Today in Gaming History. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.